Hi, how's it going guys? This is a video about how to use the V380PC software. The first thing we need to do is to set up the camera network, bind the camera to the app, and then download the PC software. The PC software has two ways to log in, scan the QR code, or enter the account and password. But I recommend you to scan the QR code and log in because it's easy and simple. Just take out a phone, open the app, and scan the code. After login, we will enter the main page because I already set up the cameras so on the left hand side, the cameras has been added to the list but nothing is displayed so I still need to double click the camera ID and add it to the channel. Okay, two cameras are displayed now so I can click and view the images and there are buttons down below that allow you to adjust the channel. Four channels, nine channels, or even split to more channels. That is to say, the software can support any many cameras. If you have a lot of camera, you can use this software to control them. The Act Device button here is not for set up the camera. It is for searching the local network device or manually enter the online camera ID. So you can set up the camera network on PC software. Do that on your phone. Here is a function for adding a group. If you have multiple devices and you want to manage different places camera in an easy way, you can create a new group and move this camera to different groups. You can rename the group, stick it to the top, or remove it. In the PC software, you can move the camera viewing angles and control the camera as you do in the phone app. Different types of cameras have different studio bars, like adjust the viewing mode, open and shut the light, and angle control. Here we will see the snapshot and recording button. It means that if you press this button, the images or video is saved on your computer, not in the camera. Even if your camera has a micro SD card inside, but the files will be saved on your computer. So where to check the images and video files? On the left, there's a My File page, and you will find that the images and videos has been saved here. You can open and delete it, or copy the file and save it to another hard disk for safety reasons. Next, there's a software setting buttons, and you can change where to save the videos and where to save the images when you press the snapshot and recording button on PC software and some other functions that you can change but it's not important. When you download the software, it is recommended that you upgrade it to the latest versions. Otherwise, it may have some problem. Click on the camera IDs to open the settings. You can check the alarm information, move to groups, and you can also remove the camera. But please do the remove on the phone app. Don't do that on PC software. Otherwise, it will bring the binding error. If you click to pause, the images will no longer be displayed. And you press the play again, it will display the images again. The setting page is the same as the phone app. You can check the camera's details information here, set some video recording plans, and you can also check how much micro SD card capacity the camera still has. You can set an alarm function as well, and messages will pop up when the alarm is triggered. About a video playback, click the replay button to open a playback page and all the video recording will show on here. And you can choose a playback time, choose a date, you can draw the time bar, zoom in and out to get the accurate video playback time. But please pay attention that this playback function is to play back the videos on the micro SD card. It is remote playback now. If I press the menu recording functions, 
the video file will be stored in my computer. But when I open the replay button here, it is playback micro SD card video. It is different. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Welcome to leave comments down below if you have questions about it. See you guys next time.